Welcome to another live stream, guys. Uh, I'm doing a new live stream tonight about talking about 30 gallon, um, 30 gallon stocking ideas. So it looks like we got a couple people. Guys, uh, uh, live stream. There's the echo. Oh, gee, sorry about that, guys. But yeah, so it looks like we got worldwide tropicals in the house right now. Looks like we got three people on. Everybody's just joining as the notification route that I was live here. But yeah, so thank you, Worldwide Tropicals, for in here. Looks like I had a couple questions already. How are your angelfish? They're doing good. My breeding pair is doing good. Looks like I got eight, um, almost inch tall um, uh, fry there. They're all doing really good in there. And then my 55 with all my other angels in there, doing pretty good. It just had some eggs in there, but it looks like they got they got eight, eight in because all the other fish in there ate them. But yeah, let me know if the, the notifications went out because it's been really weird. Like, it's been pretty weird. Yeah, it's telling me that my thing's unlisted right now. So I don't know if it's if you guys are getting the notifications or not. So let me know if you are getting the notifications or not. Looks like we got Patricia, Evening Caleb. Hey, let me know if the if the notifications went out because it says right now it's unlisted. I don't know if it's not or not or I don't know. But yeah, thank you for joining. Looks like we got Flint Fish Forum. Hey, thank you for sharing. I noticed that you shared that you shared on your channel there. I really do appreciate that. I like from the bottom of my heart. I thank you guys. And let me know if the sounds are working good. I got a new microphone. Oh jeez. I am out, I actually, I got a new microphone, so I don't know if you can tell her here, but I got a new microphone, so hopefully the quality is better, if it's, I mean, it'll let me know if it's better or worse than the old one, but yeah, so it looks like you got your notifications, okay, because I put my, my um, stream yard as unlisted, and then I went on YouTube, and I did all my description and stuff, and then I don't know if it worked, but got my notifications too, sweet, thank you, thank you guys for letting me know. Oh, you're, oh, yay, you're live. Audio is great. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Audio sounds great. Sweet. Yeah, I feel, I feel very fancy now because then I have, now I have like this thing and I have this thing. I don't even know what the heck they are. It took me an hour to set up the dang thing up. I'm pretty dumb on all that stuff. But I feel special now because I got all this stuff. <laughs> I tell my mom about it. Like, oh, man, you're going to. You're becoming more and more like the bigger YouTubers. <laughs> yeah, but sweet. Okay, so it looks like we got six or seven people in here. So let's get right into it. So, okay, so we're talking today's topic is about 30 gallon stocking ideas. So, um, what I suggest for 30 gallons, I know I've seen a lot of YouTube videos, like uh, mostly. KG Tropical sometimes does that. Some other YouTubers, some bigger names that just can't think off the top of my head, but they've done like 20 gallons. They've done like um, five gallons, 10 gallons, 40 gallons. But what I feel like what I mostly don't see is 30 gallons. So that's why I'm doing a live stream tonight about 30 gallons because that's kind of an oddball tank. I mean, not really oddball, but you don't see them as much as you would see as a 40 or 55 or a 20 gallon almost. But yeah, so I look like I'm cutting off now, but I got I got a new monitor and everything. I got a whole new live streaming setup now. You can see my angle's different. Everything's different. I got new lighting. I got new microphone. I just picked up a, a monitor, like a desktop monitor, everything on Facebook Marketplace. So hopefully I can be editing better. So, I mean, it's a pretty powerful one too. So hopefully I can be edit editing. I can, so I can have a second monitor. Just for looking at the chat. So if you see me look over here, it's I'm looking at the chat over here. But yeah, it looks I'm super excited about all my new stuff. I got like it's just crazy how much stuff I have. I still just gotta still just gotta build a desk or I wanna buy a desk. It's just my footprint's weird because right when you walk in the door, it's gonna be hitting it. So I wanna turn my door the other way. Go turn it outside my fish room so I can have a lot more room. But yeah, so it looks like everything looks great. Thank you. Thank you guys. So I have two angelfish right now. Now I'm going to get four more. What type should I 
get or you really like. I really like koi. Koi angelfish. Those are really, I really like those. Those are my breeding pair here. They're just, I like those my favorite because they, they kind of shine on them. They have those really cool spots. That's my favorite angelfish. Other than the marbles, I, I have some marbles over there. Two of those are pretty cool. Looks like we're on JH. Thank you guys for joining. Oh, uh, jeez. Uh, whoops. Like Christmas, right? Yeah. <laughs> it got a whole bunch of new live streaming stuff. Hey, Daniel Martin. Thank you for joining. Are you asking for the ideas? Yeah, um, same thing. I got a couple of things that I want to talk about that I have written down. But if you have any ideas that you want for a 30 gallon that you think that'd be a good, let me know because I think that would be a good idea. So if you have any ideas, maybe some fish that you've kept in a 30 gallon before. Getting all fancy on us. Nice, nice upgrades for sure. Nice work. Keep up the good work. Thank you guys so much. Amber. <laughs> Hey, Joseph. Looks like we got some people talking. Sorry for the bad spelling. Oh, no. You should see me. my spelling. They're pretty bad. Nice mic. Hey, that's something I got my idea from. I got my idea from you. I actually, when I looked in your description, it tells you all your, your live streaming stuff. And I actually bought the same mic that you did. Is I just bought a different one with different connectors. Um, like, there's like four different types of those microphones, so I've got I got like one of the higher tech ones or something. I don't really know. I thought it'd be better. <laughs> so we meet again, GH. Thank you guys. Um, two hundred thirty subscribers. Yes, we were so cl we were so close to getting three hundred. I mean, it's crazy. I know I'm not talking about the topic right now, but I just want to th say thank you guys so much for subscribing. I mean, I just want to share my screen here. Oh, jeez, let me share my screen. But I just want to show you this here quick. You can see Aquarium Co-op. I shared on my thing. And, like, I was about in tears because this, like, this guy I've been watching, for, I mean, I, for literally f how long? And he shouted my, my channel out, and, man, that meant the world to me. Like, honestly, I've been watching his channel so much. And and I am I feel so blessed because I know how hard other YouTubers work just to get five subscribers, just to get ten. And when people are shouting my channel out and I'm growing so much and I'm such I'm still so new to all this YouTube thing of videos, I kinda got like five videos, I think. I gotta really gotta step up my game on that because I'm still all new to all this of doing this stuff. But when someone that big Shouts me out. I mean, just meant the world to me. Also, in GH, I mean, any YouTuber, any person, I mean, you, it, you don't matter if you have zero subscribers and you just tell your friend about it. I mean, I really do appreciate everybody, whether you have a YouTube channel or not. I just appreciate everybody that you guys do, that you guys do for me. So, like, I love your angelfish. Nice. Oh, jeez. Nice. Yeah, how can I get a shout out? Hey, shout out to Dylan Martin. There you go. <laughs> Makes me smile. Thank you, JH. But I mean, honestly, I mean, JH is awesome guy. I mean, it's just so overwhelming to see how much support from people. Just, I mean, it's really overwhelming. Came to give me some support. Thank you, Chewy. You, your guys are awesome. Okay, so now I want to talk about. I want to talk about my ideas. My whole live stream here. Okay, so if you have any ideas that you think that'd be better. Or if you have ever had in a in a 30 gallon before, um, this specific 30 gallon that I have is a bullfrog. I have a bare bottom still because I just haven't. I'm just cycling it as of now. But yeah, it looks like oh, epic thinks. Oh, Caleb, everybody wants to see you grow and succeed in this. You're doing some impressive things, especially for your age. Yeah, thank you guys very much. Well, you're great. You have better video than me. <laughs> Um, how can, how can put so much in 30s? Let me know if you, what you mean by that. I don't know if I think I understand that, but okay. So my first idea that I have is for a fish for 30 gallons is I think some, some different types of goldfish, you know, goldfish get larger. People are going to have different, different, um, people are going to have different opinions on this, but here, this is my 55. I'm like. I push in my limits, like I know, because I've got my 75 outside that's cycling. All of these guys will be switching, and they'll have a 75 and a 55, so all of them will be perfect on that. But I think some different types of fantail, especially when they're small, 
when they get bigger, some people have Elponians just to upgrade them to a 55. But that's one idea, some, some fan tails, some your simple, um, your orange ones. Sometimes you can have some of your really long fan tails, things like that. But it looks like we got some chat going. Uh, I said that wrong. I, I say start with a buffered substrate. Yeah, you know, that's a good idea, too. Maybe I'll do that, too. You can put a lot in 30 gallons, yeah. Buffered substrate and live plants. Yeah, that's one of my things I have down, too, is live plants. I think that would be a great um, neon tetra, rasboras, things like that. That would be perfect in a 30-gallon live plants. I think that would be great for that, too. Looks like we got a whole bunch of people. Dwarf cichlids are nice in 30s. Yeah, that's a good idea, too. So maybe maybe some dwarf cichlids would be good in there, too. Looks like we've got Susan. Thank you for joining, Susan. Hello, Caleb. Hello, Caleb and all. Thank you guys for joining here. Hey, Susan. Sounds great. Hey, Deborah. I like platies. You know what? Platies and mollies, that's one of my things I have down, too, is live bears. Live bears are just awesome community fish that breed a lot like guppies. Um, things like that would be perfect. So if you guys have any suggestions for 30 gallons, let me know. But so that's for my first thing was goldfish. So my second idea is um, angelfish. So much like my breeding pair of koi angels over here, they're in a 29 gallon, and just the two of them are breeding pair. So this, I think this is a perfect size for them. They could do better in like a 40, but I just have them at 29. That's what I have offhand. But I think a, I think a good pair of breeding angels to get you the experience of the breeding fish because it's it's a good experience to learn how to breed fish. You learn how to just take care of them, and you learn a lot from that. Hello, Susan. I like com convicts are pretty cool. Some people will some people will say 30 gallons too small for them. It all depends on your kind of preference on that. Hey, Susan. I like red-tailed puffers. During the American Library Association, you would get really nice ornamental of a wild species of fish to work. Yeah. You know, some wild fish. That would be cool, too. Some wild fish. I think that would be do good, too. Oh, man. I can't even like, pronounce that. My. I like A. Pugs Grammys. I have no idea how to pronounce that. If someone said it to me, I'd probably know what the fish is, but I just can't pronounce it. <laughs> if you get some buffered substrate in that tank, I will send you plants. You know what? Oh, maybe I'll do that. That's what I gotta do. I'm gonna write that down. Cause that's a good idea. Cause I've I've my whole life I've had three plants, three live plants. Never got into it, so I think that'd be a good experience for me to do. So maybe yeah, definitely. I'm gonna try that. I'm gonna write that down. I'll order it on Amazon or whenever I can. I'll be sure to give you a shout out on my YouTube channel. Thank you guys so much. Hey Patricia, loaches. You know that would be pretty cool too. Some loaches. I've never done much about that, but that think that'd be cool. A pistol grandma. Oh, okay, that makes so much more sense. Yes, those are those are some good, probably some good fish in a thirty gallon. Hey Joseph, looks like we got everybody. Yes, the club of cares too. Yes, cares is too. I want to definitely get in more into that. Angel fish. I'm going to get small angels. Hey, have you? Hey, have you koi angels given your babies yet? Yes. I'll show this. I know it's on a webcam. It's going to be kind of bad. But there's my 29 gallon there. You can see some of the babies in there. They're hard to see. Let me take this off. You can see some of them on there. They're getting pretty big. But those are in there. So I'm either going to pull them. I just realized. Sorry about the microphone. Because it was probably right up to my face. That was probably. That was probably bad for all the people on headphones. But, but yeah, so those are those there. Angelfish. Yes, loach. Cockatoo dwarf cichlids. Yeah, that would be definitely probably a good idea. Here to show you the love. Have to catch up on some homework. Clerk. <laughs> hey, thank you, Candy, for joining. Oh, Candy, I guess I should be working. Yeah, the Candy. <laughs> oh, jeez, everybody's going ham. 
So, did you become with a curious problem by joining the American Library Breeders or registered in the program, Caleb's Aquatics? Yes, I'm going to write that down, too. Because I've not done much with CARES. I've heard a lot from, like, Susan talking about that. If this thing would stay up there. Hike with it. Who needs that? Um, but, yeah. So, sorry for the typos. That's for showing me the koi. Did I miss something? Uh, I don't think I missed anything. I'm sorry, guys. Uh... <laughs> 21 likes, 10 likes. Yeah, hit the like button, guys. Thank you. I have lots of live plants if you watch them. Heck yeah. I'll write that down for sure. Maybe because maybe I want to do live plants. That would be a good idea. I just don't know if I like, to be honest, capable of live plants. Maybe I'll do some more research on that. Maybe I'll get like a light bar. All it is is just, it's like, just your generic one's not an LED or anything. It's a light bulb. So I'm not sure if that would grow plants or not. So, so maybe I'll try something different, but. Yeah, I'll definitely do that, too. I think that would be really fun for the CARES program. But, yeah, sweet. Live plants are great, yeah. It's a good orphanation, and they're willing to be... They are little to no ouch in correspondence. Yeah, definitely. Maybe I'll try that one out, too. There's so many different things that I've never got into that just all these new things feeding on YouTube. Live plants are easy, you know? In this 29 gallon, I've done absolutely nothing. I've never put fertilizer, absolutely nothing. And they've been growing like crazy. That's for sure. Ormots are super easy to grow. Sweet. You have plenty of light. Plants are the number one filter. Yeah, that's a good that's a good idea, too. Number one filter. Bob, let me see you. Okay, so I don't know if I talked. Okay, guppies. That's my third on the list. So guppies. This is right up to Susan. This is right up to Susan's alley. But you can see my 20 gallon, my guppy tank. I got some cobras. Um, unless I sold all of them. I can't quite remember. I've been selling a lot of different guppies. But this is my guppy tank. It's getting pretty low. So maybe I'll, maybe I'll get some guppies from Susan. and Or maybe she was talking about she wanted my black moor goldfish in there. So maybe we could do a trade or something. Maybe we just trade some some guppies or something. I trade Give me some guppies and I can... Trade that black horn, maybe. So, yeah, let me know about that then. Then, what substrate? Thumbs up from Susan. Yes, live plants are easy to grow on live plants, and certain cichlid species complex will wheel them up. Oh yeah, cichlids are crazy at that. But yeah, so guppies. Did someone say guppies? <laughs> and Tampa Tom, the chubby guppy. Hmm. <laughs> I just tested pH last street, and all my tanks were high, even my black water tank. Really. PH high, huh? Sometimes just my water changes. PH out of it is is just high out right out of this tap. Okay, so other than guppies, I have live bears. So different types of different types of live bears from different types of mollies, platies, um, swordtails, things like that. All community fish that are interchangeable. Those are some great fish for 30 gallons, in my opinion. There's a lot of color. You can learn. You can. For some people that are new, you can get the you can get the excitement from having live bears. I know that really got me into the fish when I had my 55 and they all had babies in there. That really got me more excited into it. But yeah, so it's live bears. Also, I have si small cichlids. What I mean by small cichlids, I don't... Some people are going to have different opinions on what cichlids can go in a 30. But for me, juvenile cichlids are perfect in a 30 gallon for me. Once they get start bigger, then they'll have to be especially get a bigger like they'll have to get changed out. But but that's that's what I think is cichlids are perfect for juveniles. Um, endlers, yeah, wild endlers. I think that's a good idea too. Wild endlers are pretty pretty cool too in a thirty. How long have you been in the hobby? About five years. I'm thirteen now, and I was about eight when I after I had my first like twenty gallon. Uh. Are you want to look up with the Caleb's products? They are on the CARES prevention list. Yeah. I don't know how to spell that. Good eyes. There's so many fish names I just can't spell. If someone did it to me, I'll know what they are. But it looks like about 26 people. Thank you, guys. Don't forget Tetras. Yeah. Wild variety. Colors. Of, yeah. Very fashy. Like neon. Neon Tetras. Things like that are very um, popular in those. 
Um, I have mini tigers and rainbow tigers. Endlers. Yeah, those are pretty cool. I really like endlers. They're pretty cool, too. There's a lot of fish that I haven't experienced, as that's why I'm excited about having my own business here. Because when I sell fish, I have an empty tank, and then I can get more fish. And I really like about that, too, because I can experience more fish. They can easily overpopulate. Yeah, especially when you just, when you get, that's, that's a good point. Sometimes you have to set up a new tank, or sometimes you have to give them to a friend, or sometimes people just ship them out to other people. I have glowfish, tetras, and dans, dan eyes. Those are pretty cool, too. Glowfish, I mean, it, people have all their different opinions on them. Uh, I don't want to get into getting getting anybody mad at me, but everybody has their own opinion on glowfish, but, but yeah, so, hi, all. Oh, hey, thanks, Ginger Graves. Uh, I have glowfish, tetras, and danios in my 30 gallon. I love them. Yeah, they're pretty cool. Danios are my favorite, too. I really like danios. You can maybe put a spotted conco buffer. I don't recommend a bullfriend for them. No, probably not. But maybe whatever gets said the most, maybe that's what I'll do. Maybe I'm really thinking about plants. Jade said he's something about plants. So I think maybe I'll do plants. Maybe I'll do some like neons or something like that. Maybe I'll do guppies in there. I don't know. Maybe, maybe I'll do something. Let me know. Let me know. Maybe I'll do that, but I'm still up to questions. Hey, Ginger. Ember, Tetras. Everybody's going crazy. I can't catch up. I'm 10 and I started when I was 5. Really? Cool. Let me give me a second. Give me one second. Oh, jeez. Okay, so okay, so that's that there. So I got I got pea puffers in my 30 gallons with lots of plants and hiding places. Yeah, pea puffers are pretty cool. I've heard a lot about those guys. I'd buy some guppies for you. <laughs> I'm going to breed fish, starting a project. Hopefully, I'll get some money. Okay, so I completely missed. I thought, I thought, okay, I was completely, but I would buy some guppies from you. Let me know. I have my Facebook page, Cubs Aquatics. Check that out. Message me on there. Maybe I'm going to start shipping fish. I mean, and I'm probably not going to be that busy on shipping fish, but I want to experience that too. Your vids rock worldwide. Thank you, guys. I mean, yeah, it was crazy. Aquarium Co-op shared my thing on. I almost was in tears. I mean, it was, it was crazy. Uh, it was literally crazy. And that's what I want to do. When I when I become a bigger channel, I because I I've learned how I got such a bigger channel. I mean, for, you know, like what I call big is big for me because I never think I'll get this this big of a channel. But for I mean most people have a lot bigger channels, but I'm but I want to be like Aquarium Club. I want to be like JH. I want to be like everybody else. That that I want to help the the other. Uh, gosh dang! And now I'm stuttering. I want to help the smaller channels because as I know, that's how I got my big majority of subscribers. That's how I got a lot of stuff because everybody did that. Everybody, everybody just kind of helped me boost my channel. That's what I want to do when I get a bigger channel, too. That's what I definitely want to do, also. Oh, jeez. There's too many comments. I can't catch up. Hey, GH. The float. Wild endlers are a great option. If someone like yourself who takes to selfish, they'd often need working very interesting behavior-wise. Eco plea and hybrid and swords. I think we some job friends and water. Yeah, I think that'd be a good idea too. Kind of like what well, a lot of your tanks are, kind of too. Yeah, thank you, Candy, for doing my Facebook group. Thank you. Uh, hashtag fish fam love. <laughs> thank you, JH. Okay, so I talked about small cichlids. 30 gallons are some great for quarantine. You know, people are going to do a lot smaller tank for quarantine, but in my, when my thing was when I get a whole bunch of fish in and they're all the same type, it's perfect for a 30 gallon for quarantine. For maybe like an Oscar, maybe like a six inch Oscar. I mean, it could even be like a 12 inch Oscar as if it's only for quarantine. I personally would keep a foot long Oscar at a 30 gallon for only up to three days. Nothing longer than that. Only as I would do my quarantine process. Cause I don't want to keep them in there any longer. That's 30 gallons. My last bet. If I would, I would like to put them in 55 for quarantine, 
But if that was my last bet, that's what I would do. But I personally, I would much rather have like an Oscar, like in a 55. Hey, Caleb. Hey, everyone. Sorry I'm late. No, you're not late. Nobody's late. <laughs> Just for joining in, it means the world for me, guys. Hello. Yes, remember to keep subs. Have good content. Some channels get shoutouts and then grow amazingly fast. Some have thousands, some have when they post a vid, three people watch it. Yeah, it's it all depends on, like, it's, it's a crazy YouTube world, finding out what works, what doesn't work, what thumbnails work, what people gets to watch the videos, things like that. Okay, so sweet, how's it going? Hey, Diego, Diego. Have you kept Lawrence? Okay, now, same thing. I can never pronounce the fish, but if someone told me, I, I could remember it. <laughs> And spawn them and require soft water from reports I have read. You know, I've never done much Grammys. I've had a couple golden Grammys, things like that. But, yeah, that's for sure. Gotta catch up to the chat. Uh, maybe I should start a live stream. Yeah, I definitely suggest it. I mean, I I thought I would never do it. But until just everybody, just the support from everybody is crazy. Hey, Diego. Okay, so all this in quarantine, I have a live plants. I think live plants would be a perfect tank for live plants for different types of things like that. I think that'd be a good good thing for that. So, like, you just your simple live plants. Maybe some water, um, lettuce, or lilies, but they just grow like crazy. So, maybe just a little bit of plants in there. Maybe just have a nice wooden scape in there. I think that would be pretty cool. So that's a good for a 30 on both front, especially a both front. Their both fronts are most like mainly used for like display tanks. In my opinion, that's what I think they are mostly for is display tanks. But then I got Beta Sorority. I think um, she she I was on their live stream with Palmer that like a couple of nights ago. But I was on with them. She was she she and she suggested a Beta Sorority. So I think that would be pretty cool. Some maybe some females. Um, things like that. I think that'd be really cool. All um, beta sorority. Grammy. Yeah. <laughs> There's so many words. Yeah, I know Grammy, but I didn't, I didn't know the first word after before that. I haven't kept them, but I would like, they are cool. They need black water, I think. Yeah, that's something I want to do. There's so many more types of things that I need to just grow into. Things like that. Do kids know what, oh gosh. Literacy, literacy. I think it's literacy. Is anymore? <laughs> Lol. You know, I know, I know. It's just the thing is, I'm absolutely horrible handwriting. Absolutely horrible at reading like things. Like I'm. That's my one thing. I'm good at math. I'm good at everything else. But it's just hard for me to put it in words. That's my downfall. Um. Lol. 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 <laughs> There's a group, maybe about 10 guys that I th I can think of breed with them. They are kind of tough, and I need soft attic water to spawn. Yeah, I have super hard water here. Like, it's crazy how hard it is. Never had them breed for me. I started before you, and now I have 57 subscribers, and you have 230. Thanks for the good work. Yeah, thank you very much, guys. Hello, well... Licorice. <laughs> hey, Q Aquatics, thank you for joining. I was, what, you did a live stream last night? No? Yeah, I can't remember. I, there's so many live streams that I just can't remember. I, I, like, watch all of them. But I remember I was in it, I think it was last night. And I remember you're talking about your, um, talking about, uh, Keystone class. I think that'd be really cool. I want, we're, I'm really thinking about going to Texas next year. If it's in Texas... Um, for, um, Aqua Shell, I definitely want to go to that. That's my, I really, really want to go to that. So if it's either in Chicago, or not Chicago, if it's in like Los Angeles or Las Vegas or anything like that, that's even better for me. Um, but, but if it's in Las Vegas or Dallas, I'm definitely going to go next year. And JH, man, you're going to have a heck of a time there. Make sure, do as much filming as you can, JH, when you're there. It doesn't even have to be your best quality. Like, I heard I don't know when you were talking about this, but you're talking about Palmer, you know, how he just shoots from his hips and he just makes videos that that make him that works out for him. Like so definitely just 
don't even worry about the editing when you're in this car ride and you're having a fun, um, heck of a time of your life there, having uh, have a fun time. Just do, do, don't even edit it, to be honest. I mean, you know, you're going to want to edit a little bit, but don't don't overthink it just because we just want to see what you what you come out because, you know, editing might be better for new subscribers, but the people that have been in the hobby for a long time, they just want to see what you kind of do. But don't don't stress editing too much. I mean, that's what I want to do. I want to I want to get into editing, but I don't want to overthink it. But yeah, definitely when you're on Aqua Shell, definitely don't overthink it because you gotta have your time. You gotta have fun there. You don't wanna be wasting time on editing, so definitely have fun there, man. Blackwater setups are amazing. Sure, Susie. That looks like Susie. Yeah, she looks like she's in the chat. Hey, J I H. I have bread, water, I have hard water because I live in, oh, geez, I don't know what that is. I think that's Missouri. I don't know. It's, usually it's just M-I or S or something. A-J-H. Oh, geez. What's your oldest fish? To be honest, I sell all my fish. So probably my koi. My four koi out there. I like that's how old like they're old, but I haven't had them for that long. But Mess Mesa Arizona, that's where it is. Aquashella next year. Is that what you mean by for Aquashella next year? Let me know, cause if it's in Arizona, that's eh, kind of. I mean, maybe I'll still go to that. I'm not sure. Caleb, okay, he's riding in my car. What you're doing? To me, uh huh. <laughs> it's gonna be filming non stop now. <laughs> oh, looks like Big City and JH are gone. Yeah, yeah, I heard about that. I just can't remember how much stuff goes on. I just can't remember. <laughs> um, I have peat moss. Yeah, those are peat moss. I've never really heard of that. Well, good advice. I always worried because I don't have editing capabilities, but sometimes even the young can expire the old lol yeah i want to do that too i kind of i don't i don't want to be i don't want to copy people i want to be original as i can but i'm just trying to find out what works for other people so i kind of i kind of want to be in the middle of editing and kind of palmer see i mean i'm not i'm not hopefully i'm not offending anybody but i'm saying palmer is kind of the guy that just doesn't he rather put more time into his videos than edit him and jh would like to edit him and put time into it. I'm not, hopefully I'm not hurting anyone's feelings, but I'm saying they're two different types of, of ways of, of, um, because I mean, Palmer has good editing too, but JH just has over top of the editing, which really is nice too. I better stop before someone gets mad at me, but I hope I didn't mean it like in a hurtful way, but I'm just saying there's two different types of ways of JH's way works out for him and Palmer's way works out for him. Just all it depends on what works out for you. Thanks. I have Peat Moss. Hey, Mark. Hey, Biggs. Hey, Bob. Haley from Oddball Aquatics will be riding with us as well. Haley. Haley's super awesome, too. Hey, Mark. Hey, Jess. Sounds like a fun ride. <laughs> Hi, Amber. Okay, so other than a beta sorority, if you have any other suggestions for a 30 gallon, let me know about that, too. Yeah, but okay, so there I have a couple other things that I want to talk about. So my giveaway, I'm super high behind on it. I got my air pump here. I mean not my air pump. My uh my giveaway here. So this will be given away. I'm gonna hopefully be making a video today. Um Thursday or Friday, maybe a live stream. So stay tuned to that. And then this air pump here. This the both be given away. Um and I thought of another giveaway idea. And what time would you think it would work? Do you want when do you want me to do this live stream? Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, maybe next Monday, my next live stream. Let me know. But I thought of a new giveaway. I have a whole bunch of these um koi angels. So maybe I'll give away some koi angels. Um because I think those would be cool, some koi angels. And I'll give away some of those guys too. So I think let me know if you want that too, if I should give away some koi angels. I am Amber, Haley, and Joseph in the same car. It's gonna be a blast. Heck yeah! <laughs> Isn't Aqua Shell always in Dallas than Chicago so far? Yeah, it's, I know that's for sure. It's been there because this is the second year. 
I believe so. Yeah. I met Haley for the first time in uh, all of the first year. But yeah, Haley's pretty cool. You could go with black water in the 30 gallon, but I would like to see you work with live plants first. I think I'm going to do live plants. Let me know if you think I should do something else, but there goes my light on the tank. Great. But but I definitely want to do live plants, I think. That's what I think I want to do. Monday would work for us kids, products, but only make your giveaway for USA residents. So, yeah, maybe I'll do something. I'm going to I'm gonna have to do a um, description and all that, talking about all this stuff. But, okay, so I know in my last live streams, some people have asked me for my PayPal. My PayPal is um, in the link description. So I know some people have been asking me about that. They just want to help me donate to me and stuff like that. But, yeah. Well, yeah, so sweet. But that's my, my PayPal. It's in the link in the description of this live stream. So I know some people have just wanted to help out. So I've put, I've made one. I've made a pool or whatever they would call it. But, yeah, so that's – and if you have any other video ideas, I have a couple of video ideas. It's just it's so much easier for me to make a live stream than a video because when I make videos, I don't use any of my desktop, my computer, anything like that. I only use my iPhone, and I just use iMovie. So it's a lot easier for me just to use this. So maybe, maybe I'll do that too. I'm not quite sure. But if you have any video ideas, like if there's anything you want to know, um, what's your PayPal? It's in the link in the description. So I'm just gonna get it here. I think I have it up to date. So if Candy's in the chat, if you could put the if you could put the um the PayPal here. There we go. I copied it. And now I just gotta go. Sorry about that guys. Oh, there we go. Looks like everybody posted it now. Everyone else is about to post it. But yeah, thank you guys for the PayPal links. But that's my PayPal, so if anybody looking just to help me out or whatever, and definitely definitely let me know. I don't know if you when you PayPal if you can like write a message. But let write me let me down. Let, I mean write down what you want me to use it for. If you want me to use it for Aqua Shell, if you want me to use it for my live stream equipment, if you want me to use it to make a video, if you want me to do something, maybe if you want me to get live plants in a tank, or if you want me to get search of fish or whatever, just let me know. You can green screen now. Yeah, I think that'd be green screen. What do you mean by green screen now? Let me know what you mean by that. Sorry, only listening while I work. No, you're candy, you're good. You are awesome. I mean, I can't say it enough. Candy's awesome. Candy's always, always, she's always in every single live stream. She is awesome. Like she's literally just awesome person because she she'll be doing her tank work and then she'll be she'll be listening and she's an awesome person. Candy, you're so nice. See, like everybody thinks Candy's awesome, but but yeah. And then if anybody has, I mean, so I'm gonna be live streaming every Monday at 8 p.m. now. So if you guys have a live streaming list that you guys have, definitely add me down at 8 p.m. on Mondays. I hopefully I'm gonna be doing videos every two day. I mean every um, week, two videos per week. And then if anybody has a live streaming list, so they have all the live streams, definitely send that to me. As I've been trying to make one now, but if anybody has one, definitely message me on Facebook. But I don't know if much people know, but is it true that Facebook is going to like messengers going away like tomorrow or something? I don't know. Maybe it's just a rumor, but hopefully it doesn't go down because that's. That's one way how I get to talk to Palmer and JH. That's how I get to talk to a lot of different people. I agree with JH. Get into plants with lots of plants going at the same time. The fish do not harm plants like Aeropo I can't even say it now. Aeropistogrammas instead of convicts. And then you can sell fry easier. Yeah. That would be a good idea too. The fry could easily hide. Candy is mod god and we're all lucky to have her. Yeah, she is awesome. But yeah, so I got to... After this live stream, I gotta get some buffered substrate. Um, gotta look at cares and stuff like that. I need co angels fish. They're my favorite. Yeah, they're really cool too. But 
But yeah, so maybe maybe I'll do a giveaway of some of my fish, maybe. So maybe if there's some fish that you like, maybe if you want some of my baby koi, maybe you want some guppies, maybe you want some goldfish or a koi, or if you want some um, marble, um, uh, angelfish, if you want some convicts, plecos, uh, bigger plecos, if anything like that, if you want me, let me know what you guys want, and maybe I'll do a giveaway on that, too. I ever get tired of hearing how awesome everyone thinks you are? I bet you're, it's a good self-image. She has like 600 subscribers and she never makes any videos. She's just awesome. Is your Facebook under Caleb's Aquatics as well? Yes, it is. Caleb's Aquatics on Facebook. Um, I didn't put it in the description, but if anybody here, if you want to put the link in there, quick. Interesting idea. Messenger is going from YouTube because it's Hard to use. Messenger is going from YouTube. Oh, okay. You should make an Amazon wish list. You can write that down. Wish list. So I don't know, maybe I'll make one of those. I don't know. I've never really heard much, thought about much of it. Yes, I'll even pay for coin angels. Yeah, let me know. Um, let me know if you want some baby koi angels. That's what I have for koi's angels. Um, then I have my marble angels over there too. And what two of them are breeding pair too. Uh, looks like thank you, Candy, for doing the um, thing. Dude, your amount of support is insane. Yes, it is awesome. Check out Patreon as well. Definitely will. Maybe, maybe I'll do a Patreon account. Maybe I'll do that. I don't expect much people to donate as they have their own life as I, I mean, I don't want to be, I don't want to ask for money, but when people are just, um, check like want to donate to me. So I don't want to, I don't want to, maybe I'll do that too. I don't know. I don't know. Jace was talking about PayPal. It's kind of unsafe. Kind of, he doesn't really trust it as much. I heard when we, I was watching his live stream. So maybe I'll switch from PayPal to something else, but as of now, I'll just do PayPal. Is. I feel like others probably feel that way, yes. <laughs> I got to head out. Have a great night, y'all. Thanks for the fun live stream. Thank you, Big City, Big City Betas. Thank you so much. Now, you're too helpful. People genuinely love you. Thank you guys so much. Okay, so I'm just going to... I mean, it's crazy. I just want to, I got 232 subscribers, and it's just crazy, guys. I don't, I don't want to break to anyone, because, I don't want to break to anyone, because I know how it feels being, trying to work your butt off. Actually, I really don't, because I got everybody subscribing to me, but I used to have a different channel, um, not even fish related, but I, well, I remember how hard it was for it. I mean, I, like, I have, like, five subscribers on there, and I, like my my, I sent it to my cousins and they put it on YouTube because I didn't know how I had to do any of that. But I definitely know how hard it is. Nate Amber, thank you guys so much. But maybe we'll do a little bit of a shorter live stream tonight. Maybe we'll only go for fifty minutes. Maybe I know my dad has supper upstairs ready. You <laughs> it bought me supper. Night, Amber. Yeah, but sweet. How much are you, how much are your angel fish? You're a big guy. I need big angels because they will kill my smaller ones. Um, for what do you mean? The, my big two koi angels are my breeding pair. <sighs> I probably won't even sell them to be honest. It depends off the price is right, but. The only reason I would say that is because like, I know a guy that has two other breeding pair koi angels, but they're different types of genes, so I probably wouldn't sell it at all. But my my marbles over here, I have some larger marbles. Um, two of them are breeding pairs in there, like six of them, I believe. Definitely message me, and I can give you guys all the info here. Hey, you want to make a video together? Yeah, definitely. Um... Give me one second here. I just got somebody here. I still got to work on all this. Being a lot more professional. <laughs> oh, jeez.
Caleb, the type of sword tails that would look great where you have your goldfish, you could have a clone of alpha sword tails. Google that sword tail. That is what the LAA club has. I'll write that down. I just have a notebook. JH told me about that. Have a notebook to have everything done. Looks like we got 21 people in here. Thank you guys so much for for being um in here. But yeah, so we it looks like we got 24 likes. Thank you guys all for liking. Yay, your marbles. I'm willing to pay 20 bucks for Angel. I probably won't even do that much, to be honest. Probably only do like 15, to be honest, on those large mate marbles. But yeah, let's definitely let me know. Caleb, you also have a doc open. Copy and paste comments and notes it. It's law fa Okay. Cop you can also have a Word doc open, copy and paste comments and notes to it. And it's fast. I'm gonna write that down. I'm definitely gonna do that for my next live stream. I just don't wanna mess with it right now. Because I don't wanna mess everything up. But yeah, definitely that's a good idea. I wrote that down there. I don't think I even have Word, but maybe I'll subscribe to it or whatever the heck it is. But alright, I have an idea. Do you have a business email? I do not just thinking if I want to give away my actual email. You know, just I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't want to mess with the, the emails right now. I have an email and I check it like once a year. To be honest, I don't check it much. But if you want to message me on Facebook, um, my Facebook page, Caleb's Aquatics, you can message me there. See, you could copy that, Ella. <laughs> oh gosh. I'm looking at the same Brown and Jets. I'm looking at the oh the game Brown and Jets. Yeah, I, I heard about that playing tonight. I I watch a lot of football, but not too much. Have him give a message on Facebook Mark's Facebook page. Not your email. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do probably. Create a business email. I'll do that. To be honest, I've never really messed with emails. I don't even know how to be honestly to how to send an email. I'm so newbie at that. You can open it and email to yourself and post comments there too. That's a good idea there too. Thank you, Candy. Yes, Candy. Going to say goodnight. I'm listening at work. Close closing time is coming up. Thank you so much, Ginger, for for being in here. I would use an email services that PayPal is attached to Caleb's Aquatics. Yeah, because I have that on my personal one. So maybe if you find that email from my PayPal, maybe message me on there. Um, I love your angel fish, so you want me to pay more or less, let me know. Just let me know on my Facebook page. Let me know about that. Just message me there, and then maybe I'll get, like, a shipping box and stuff. I'm going to get shipping out then. Bye, Ginger. We're going to got, like, a, a minute and a half left. I know I'm still new to sticking to one topic. I know a lot of YouTubers struggle with that, having a topic of a live stream, and then they just get busy in the chat. But, so, yeah, so today's live stream is about the 30-gallon ideas. If you have any, um, any things that you have that you want to let me know, let me know in the comments or anything like that. But we're just going to go for one more minute long. And, but, yeah. I'm super excited about all my new live streaming stuff. It's... <laughs> look like you have a you think like you have a donation on PayPal. If you guys do not mind, I'm going to check it quick on my phone. Let me check it because I just want to see who it was and I can give a shout out to them. If you guys don't mind, just give me one second. Okay, sweet. Um, hello, okay, there's aquatics. Maybe it was you, Can I think you're playing mind games on me because maybe it was you. Now I feel dumb. Okay, sorry if I was bothering you about your angel. No, you're all good. I just kind of want to don't want to mess with that on this because I've been trying to focus on 
my business side on my Facebook page and my my YouTube channel on my YouTube channel. So, so yeah. So I'm just gonna log in here quick. If you have any other questions, let's go for a couple minutes longer. Sorry about this, guys. Oh, now I spelled it wrong. Great, that's my luck. Um, looks like we got 18 people in here. Thank you guys so much. There we go. Just log it in here now. I don't want to do this. Just, just let me in my dang PayPal. Okay. Oh, look at it. Oh, sweet. We got Robert Taylor. Taylor's Aquatics sent me ten dollars, dude. Thank you, honest to God. Thank you so much, man. I never thought I'd actually even get a a thing. It's then just thank you guys so much. You, I mean, you guys are just awesome. If hey, um, Taylor, if you have any question, I mean, if you have anything that you want me to put that towards, if you want me to put that towards my fish, anything, let me know because I wanna I wanna do that because then in my next live streams I can show. Hey, Kaylers, you can show show me. I'll show you and say, hey, thanks to Kaylers. He helped me buy this or whatever. So let me know of what you want me to use that for. If you just want a general fund for my fish or fish food or just let me know what you want me to use that for. Caleb, you're doing great. Thank you so much, Susan. Nice, Bob. Oh, what did Bob do? I need to go to bed. I'll message you. Good night. Thank you, darling. Um, nice, Bob. Bob. I see. The thing is, I, I call everybody by their YouTube channel name. So I'm still learning a lot of names. Congrats on your first donation. Thank you so much, guys. Hi, Susan. Nice job. Thank you. Nice, Bob. All right. Night. Fish fam. Hi, fam. Fish take support. I'll chip on in on PayPal. Thank you, guys. Like, I don't. I don't expect anybody to to donate to me. I don't. I don't want it be that person to ask for it but i uh, just literally thank you guys so much bob equals okay let's call it. yeah there's so many names that i've been running i know there's bob but i wasn't for sure i don't want to call someone their name that's not their actual name because they just feel dumb then hi mark thanks bob thank you guys so much my name is wyatt I don't want to, don't give out too much information as we are live here. I learned that from Susan, from not telling too much information. Yay, my name is, my, my name be Dylan. Sweet, thank you guys. Okay, I really need to sleep now. Have a good night, guys. Okay, so we're going to end this live stream here. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments. Um, if you want to chip into my PayPal, I mean, just thank you guys so much for all the PayPal. Um, looks like we got Worldwide Tropical. Thank you so much for on the PayPal. Um, if I can refresh this here, you guys give you a shout out. Um, I don't want to say their name as of this might be a parent's account, but it looks like Worldwide Tropical. Thank you so much for the donation. I don't want to say their name as of it might be a parent's name. I don't want to give that information out. But thank you so much for that donation. I really do appreciate it, guys. But this, I'm gonna end it here, guys. If you have any questions, let me know in my comment section. If you have any, if you wanna um, message me on Messenger, uh, my Facebook name is Caleb. I mean, my Facebook group is Caleb Aquatics. So I'll just go on to Facebook, search that there. So if you have any other questions, let me know in the comments. I'm subscribe if you guys are new, and thank you guys so much. Um, thank you guys so much for just joining us, Susan. Thank you guys for all the page, the page, not the Patreons, but the PayPal's. Thank you guys so much, and we'll see you guys in the next time. Bye bye. And broadcast.